Right, this thing I showed you on another YouTube video that I did that was um, talking about modifications to BSA twins and stuff and one of them was to fit this oil pressure gauge via a, a tube down here. And hit the kill switch. And that allowed me then to fit that oil pressure gauge. Well this is the bike that I'd fired up that particular day just to show you oil pressure. But it's um it's actually um running reasonably well. As you can see I've got a, a valve in here that I can turn the oil off to the to the engine so that it doesn't drain down like a lot of these things do, the gear pumps that BSAs have. Anyway this so it is a the numbers on the engine are Rocket Gold Star, but the frames are standard Super Rocket frame in and around the 61.2 era. Well, actually, it's a 62 motor. Um, so it gives me something that's a little bit Rocket Goldy, but not really. Um, it's all a little bit of fun. The head is something that um, I picked up, and it's, as you can see, a twin carburetor. I've got. 389 left and right handed handed as they call them I guess um, often found on 750 um, early atlases and that's sort of the like you know some of those Norton engine matchless specials and um, and they're working pretty well as you heard it's got the English made swept backs and um, MGO Goldie style mufflers the, the only Twitters or whatever they call them. There's no generator in there at the moment. I'm um, having one repaired and then I've got to get a get a hold of a, a little tooth belt drive. The um, the wheels on this are both well they're sort of triumph. That's a triumph wheel for sure in the rear. Um, 46 two sprocket. Don't have a speedo working at the moment because the drive's a little threads a little bit dicky and I've got to touch that up a bit on the gearbox that is. 18 inch wheels front and rear, Ac oh, Acront as you can see, I guess you can see maybe. Uh, twin lead and shoe, 70 model style, the fork tubes are off like a 68 to 70 A65 and that allows you then to use these uh, lowers that are the, the Triumph style shuttle valve that that BSA A65 late era dry frame went to. Um, so they're slightly, the way they're made they're so that they're machined and then they taper down and come up in and use the standard triple tree for a BSA but up there and then um, all the Triumph stuff below now that's standard on a 68 through 70 that uses that twin lead and shoe brake um, the engine's been I've had a look at it I'm running a running a Norton style um, oil filter housing and just an MGO filter it's a standard ratio gearbox um, mud guards, I don't know, they're just a bit of junk here and there. I think the rear one could even be an early commando. I think it is, yeah. Um, haven't got a chain guard on it yet. The primary is just a chain drive, but it has a three spring triumph clutch. If you're into that sort of, into these things, then you know that that's probably the best way to go, which is what the factory did right at the end of it anyway. And it gives you something that's quite usable in the way of a decent clutch instead of having to fight your way through those six spring things that they put in. Um, yeah, so I've had to make up a difference. Put a set of standard pegs on it. I had some rear set pegs and short levers made up and I was just so hard to get out with my bung knees so I just put stock levers on it. Um, and I'm quite happy with it so far. Just run of the mill stuff and you know, Chinese stuff here and there the handlebars are kind of a little BMW touring bar sort of thing the the tank is alloy tank was a TA Baker out of Wales the seat is a Harley Sportster um, and it's funny because the Sportster all that early stuff um, in the Sportsters all fit these frames quite well there's a nice little low um, seat height type of thing which is one of the problems with the, some of these bees is if they're too low then they make them a little bit cramped to your legs you know but by having um, Johnny Morehouse do that seat and he then gave it me gave me 
a nice little bump in the rear, bit of a calf look, da da da. I never double people, so I don't want to have a normal seat, and that's pretty comfortable actually. You're rounded on the side, so it doesn't cut the inside of your leg, and it works quite well. So, but anyway, just thought I'd, I'm going to put some more miles on this. I'm just sort of giving it a bit of a run, and then when I've got a few miles on it, I'll, I'll take it for a ride with a camera on board, and um, you know, it's, it feels a bit peppy, and it's not doing too bad so far. Anyway, um, thanks for watching.